What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali if you're new here. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you some of the best Primark makeup dupes for high-end makeup that I personally have ever seen. And some of these are new. Some of these have been around for a few months, but they have all really lived up to my expectations and I would say that they are all fantastic dupes. I've already done my foundation and concealer and eye makeup because we're not gonna be focusing on that today, but let's just jump right on in to bronzer. So some of you might have seen the new PS Bronze Whip. This retails for five euro and it is literally just a cream bronzer. Now this comes in just one shade as far as I'm aware. It is a bit of it's kind of in between a warm and a cool. It might lean a tiny bit cool, but not so cool that I feel like it can't be used as a bronzer. And this claims to have a velvet whipped finish for a healthy radiant glow. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this. I'm gonna put the dupes on this side and the real thing on this side. And I'm just gonna go in with a little brush and just stipple that on how I always would. And you can see it is actually looking warmer. It doesn't look as cool as it does in the pan. And in my opinion, this is a really easy formula to use. Sometimes cream bronzers can pick up your makeup. I'm not a big fan of bronzer sticks personally. I definitely prefer them to be in a pan like this. And this one is, in my opinion, foolproof. It's very easy to use. Do a little on the side of the nose here. Another thing I really like about this bronzer from Primark is it's very buildable, so it doesn't go on super dark. You can build up to the darkness that you desire, or you can just have more of a natural look. So I feel like it is very easy to work with. Now, you're probably wondering, what exactly is this a dupe for, Alia? Well, it is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer, and I have the shade Golden Tan. And again, it looks like this in the pan, so I'll show you the difference here. The Anastasia Bronzer comes in a bunch of shades, whereas, like I said, the Primark one only comes in the one as far as I'm concerned. But they are not too different. The Anastasia one may be a little darker and a little bit warmer, but overall, the consistency is exactly the same and they are both very easy to apply and buildable. I'm just gonna clean off my brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and again, just tap the product on there. And so I would say once this is on my face, this does not look like it's two separate bronzers at all and one is literally like a quarter of the price. I can't remember exactly what the Anastasia one retails for. I'll put it on the screen here, but I'm pretty sure it is like over 30 euro. So I feel like this is a fantastic dupe. They both hold up throughout the day and they both last a really long time. So if you want the Anastasia look for less, pop on over to your local Primark or Petty's and pick up that whipped bronzer. Now moving on into blush, this one had me shook. Are you guys ready for this dupe? I don't think you are, but I'm gonna show you anyway. A dupe for the Anastasia Glowgasm Beauty Lights Wand, and Primark just came out with their version. So this retails for, I believe like almost 40 euro, and this one was five. Like, are we serious right now? The Charlotte Tilbury has 12 milliliters of product and the Primark one has 11.7 milliliters. So they're still pretty comparable as far as amount of product that you get. So I'm gonna swatch the Charlotte Tilbury on the back of my hand right now. So we all know what this looks like. This is the iconic pink gasm shade. And then for the Primark one, I don't know that this has a name to it like a shade, because there was just the one. And the Primark one does go on more sheer, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Primark one, and it is more of a peachy finish. So I'm pretty sure that the Charlotte Tilbury comes in a shade called Peach Gasm, if I'm not mistaken. That might be a closer dupe to this, but these are still very, very similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these now. I'm gonna start with the 
Primark one on this side of the face. And it has the exact same twist cap mechanism that the Charlotte Tilbury one has, which I found interesting. And like I said, this is more of a sheer formula. So you can get away with like packing on more, but it does dry down pretty fast. So just beware of that. And you can use a sponge or a brush. I've tried both and it's both been fine. Again, what I like about this is it's buildable and easy to work with. A problem that I have with the pink gasm is I don't feel like it's very blendable. I feel like it gets splotchy, and so I haven't really been using it all that much, which, you know, is kind of annoying because I paid a lot of money for it, and, you know, you want to use your makeup that you are spending your coin on. So, another reason why a girl loves a good dupe And I like a lot of blush, especially because I feel like blush wears off throughout the day. So go big or go home. So you can see that gives a nice luminous flush of color. Again, it is buildable. I put about two layers of this on. Now I'm just gonna brush off my brush so that we can move on into the Charlotte Tilbury one. See, this one's a lot less blendable. You have to do it really, really fast because like I said, they do both dry down, but in my opinion, this one dries quicker. And I don't know it's because the consistency is a bit thicker, but it definitely, if you're not fast, it will look splotchy and much darker in certain areas. But it still is very, very pretty. Get in the nose too, can't forget the nose. I don't know guys, again, once I have this on, I feel like I can't really see a huge difference. This might be ever so slightly, just a tiny bit darker, but you know what, not everyone likes a super like bold, darker blush. So if you like something a little more natural or something that you can build up, I really like the Primark side, but again, they are very, very similar. I don't think if you left the house, somebody would notice you're wearing two different blushes on each cheek. Now we have an honorable mention here. I don't have the exact product for both, but we know what the Charlotte Tilbury packaging looks like. I have the Flawless Setting Powder here. I don't have the blush, but we have a Primark dupe that looks very similar in packaging. So the lighting is not working with me. And you will probably recognize this blush because it looks almost exactly like the Charlotte Tilbury one. Now the Charlotte Tilbury one doesn't have a heart, it's just got a circle in the middle and Primark did a little heart one. And I've been in the store to swatch the Charlotte Tilbury and I can tell you these are literally so similar, it's actually insane. But again, like we can see that it is definitely just like duping the packaging here as well. Now, I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury blush, like I said, but this has that same sort of really soft, ever so slightly bit of a sheen to it. And it's, I love this. It's much more natural, but on a day where I still want a bit of a glow, but I don't want it to be over the top, I definitely reach for this. A lot of us probably are familiar with the Milani Rose blushes. When I say rose blush, that's because it has this rose pattern stamped into the blush. Well, Primark obviously saw that and really enjoyed that packaging design because here they've done it in a highlight form. So you can see literally the same rose stamped in the center. So again, something that is not identical, but you can see they've taken inspiration from another brand. Now Milani's not an expensive brand by any means, but this was four euro 50 cents. So this definitely wins in the price category. It is much cheaper. Same with the Primark blush that I showed you. This is five euro and the Charlotte Tilbury one is like 40-ish. So I've already done my eye makeup, but I guess I can put this on the inner corners. Why not? It's really pretty. It is a bit more of like a pinky toned highlight. It is not a champagne highlight. So if you're someone that doesn't really like a pinky highlight, you might not love this. 
but I personally think it's really pretty especially because I'm gonna lean towards the pink eye makeup looks anyway so I'm not gonna use this as a highlighter my full face because I have a really exciting dupe to show you next but I just wanted you to see this this one I'm sure you've already seen because it's been like low-key viral but that is the Primark flawless glow radiant glow priming foundation hybrid and the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter now what's funny is like look how small this is and this was like I think I paid like 15 or 20 for this and this was six now the shades are not identical but here I'm just gonna show you right now how similar they are they both have a little doe foot applicator but again, if you were to buy the Charlotte Tilbury one in this size, you'd be looking at a hefty price tag of probably about like 50, which like nobody has time for in my personal opinion. Not with all the dupes that are out there these days. Now you're gonna have to ignore the fact that these are not the same shade. But the one here is the Primark one and the one here is the Charlotte Tilbury. The Primark is a little bit lighter and the Charlotte Tilbury is a little more champagne. So we're gonna go in on this side of the face with the Primark one and I use this as a highlight I know a lot of people use this under their foundation. I personally don't like that. I like to draw like a little line here and then take my beauty sponge and just Blend it out as though it was like a liquid highlight because it works so well as one and it gives you such a pretty sheen and it's just not as overpowering. So I feel like this gives you a really nice natural glow. You can even build it up a bit more if you want. I just think that that gives like such a pretty luminance to the skin. And then we're gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury on this side of the face. Again, a really pretty luminance, but you wouldn't necessarily think that they're different products other than the color being a little bit off. Now, I think this one does come in other shades, but I was late to the game. And even though I was low key early to the game, I was still late because everyone in there swooped. So I got the shade Buttermilk in this one. And then in the Charlotte Tilbury shade, I have two fair. So I put, could have probably picked up an even more fair one of this, but Again, I feel like very, very similar and you can't really tell the difference. Now we all are familiar with the ever iconic Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick and lip liner. And this is the little, the little baby mini one that comes in a little group, little package together. And so this is what the Pillow Talk lipstick looks like. I'll swatch the lipstick and lip liner right now so that you can see. So here we have a swatch of the lip liner and the lipstick. And it's just a really kind of like neutral, slightly cool toned pink. It's supposed to be a universally flattering color that looks good on all skin tones. And it is extremely popular. But what if I told you that Primark came out with a dupe? Well, you're in luck because they did. And the packaging is shockingly similar. Literally like both gold ribbed packaging. And then very, very similar with like the lip liners. The only difference is the cap on this is pink and the cap on this is gold. But we're gonna go ahead and swatch this now. Now the Primark one might be ever so slightly a little bit warmer. So here is the Primark lip liner and lipstick. You can see it's a little bit more of like a rosy leaning red, but they're still extremely similar. So we're going to do half on this side and half on this side for the lips. And we're going to start out with the Primark lip liner. And you know, the formula of this is really nice. It's very buttery soft. So we're going to move on into the Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so that's the lip liner. So the Primark is on this side, and the Charlotte Tilbury is on this side. And I feel like you really can't tell a difference. So let's try with the lipstick now.
Wow, that is very, very close. This side, I will say, is a tiny bit more, it has a little bit more warmth to it, but they are extremely close dupes. Like, I just am blown away by how well Primark has been able to dupe all of these products. It is actually shocking. Like, I don't think that you would know that I've used two different products on each side of my face throughout this entire process. It looks so similar. And the last dupe that I want to share with you, which is a gift set, is actually going to have you shaking in your boots. Look at this gift set from Primark. What does this remind you of? I'll give you one guess. Okay. It looks just like the Charlotte Tilbury gift sets, a little bit slightly different, but this was eight euro and the Charlotte Tilbury one is 50. And in here you get a lip oil, a lip gloss, you get that same lipstick and that lip liner only like a mini size lip liner. This is such a great stocking stuffer for somebody or for yourself. If you don't feel like spending that hefty 50 price tag, run, don't walk because this is gonna sell out really fast. So that is it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out and comment down below if there are any Primark makeup dupes that I might have missed that I should test out in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching.